Good morning, afternoon, and evening, gamers. It's me. I'll be back with another episode of Coromon. So in the last one, we ended up building a teleporter. We ended up meeting the blacksmith, having all of that jazz done. And today, we're going to start chasing after these guys. But I think, yeah, all these Beezel. But, oh. You basically have to take down all the Beezel. This one's a different color, so I think I'm going to catch this one. But we're just going to take all these out, and then we're going to go down to the general area. No, no, back to the research area, because reasons? Um, even though you have to go back to Hayville anyway? I'm, a little, I'm still a little confused on the whole reasoning here, but um, nonetheless, that's what we got to do. I really hope. So I didn't mention this previously, but um, I really hope that we end up having like I don't know all the Koromon in, in the game, right? But I really do hope there's like a ferret because there's not a lot in in my experience with the monster catching genre. There have not been a lot of ferrets, and I don't know. Maybe it's because people don't like ferrets, but I love my ferret, and she's a heckin' cutie patootie. And she deserves... Um, this is a normal type. I'm not allowed to catch Cormon on one of my trainers. Oh, so I have to kick its butt. Okay. I mean, that's a little disappointing, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Because clearly this Beezle is, is like a shiny version or whatever, right? And I mean, I think that's pretty cute. But I wish I could have caught it. I mean, that would have been nice. Um, let's raise his attack, his speed. So our Beezle can hit like a truck and move like a truck. Fast and efficiently. This one will postpone. Minnow, Brew. Okay. That's one. And there's a few. I believe there's one in the back he in the back of the area here. And then there's one in the house that we found accidentally. And then whoop. get this one. Beagle, beagle. But yeah, all these Beezle are extremely angry. It's a little odd. I mean, they are... They're called Beezle, but they look like they're more based off of wasps. Am I crazy? Am I? I don't think so. Oh, pardon me, uh, but yes, I would really like a ferret. That'd be really cool. And I think that, you know, more ferret representation in the world would be a very good thing. Because they're always really cute, and I love them, and my ferret, she's beautiful. Propeller punch, fast punch at the face, 15% to knock down. Okay. That's two. There's one right there that we have to go to, but then there's also one in the house. So let's heal up real quick, and then we'll continue doing what we were doing. Do, do. Okay, one second. Okay. Bam. Okay. I just have to deal with stupid stuff. It's really not that fun. But on the bright side, we can heal up real quick. Alright. Now... I think we're going to have a little bit of a longer episode today, just because I have the extra time really feeling myself, you know? And for the Beezle, I think we're going to switch into Ruga. Considering everyone else is kind of weak to Beezle. At least that makes, that's what makes sense to me. I'm still not 100% sure on typings, but I know Taruga doesn't really have to worry about the venomous, be the venomous bees, which is like Beezle's number one thing, you know? 
I mean, Venomous Bees is kind of a long name for an attack, don't you think? And plus, if these are Coromon, right? What kind of bees would be... Oh my sweet mother of Jesus on the hood of a Mercedes Benz. That hurt. I gotta switch in somebody else. Because I need Taruga to level up. Get that strength, you know? And you predicted me? How could you predict me? Like, how? Can you explain that to me, please? Okay, still closed down for the count. Oh, or not. Is that a special move? Is it? I wouldn't count it as a special move, but I mean, hey. I'm not the one that is really in charge of all that, but point snatch steals, steals gold. Oh, yes. Um, okay, I mean, hey. I think there's like five or so. I think there's one in this house. Yeah, there's one in this house. We gotta take care of him. Hey, buddy. Truga goes first. Okay, you're gonna live with one HP. Yes, sir. You're gonna do that damage, and then we're gonna switch in probably Silkwell. Because, Taruga, I thought you were supposed to be, like... I'm sorry, whenever I think of Tortoise and Turtle, I think of Tank. But I don't think he's actually a tank. I believe he's, they said he specializes in offense. And, I mean, specializing in offense with an attack like that. Okay, and then it's going to do, like, 6 damage. 9 damage, that's fine. We're going to do one more fast strike, and then we should just switch into Patterbit, and then we should be fine. And then after that, we'll probably have to go heal up again, because these, these guys are a little tough. And I figured, you know, we're a little under-leveled, probably. At least from my experience. We're going to do Propeller Punch just to see how it works. <laughs> That's really cute. It reminds me of the... What does it remind me of? Okay, so special attack seems really important to Patterbit. So we're going to raise a special attack. And then we'll raise its HP. And I think that's what we'll do. Taruga Goo to level 20. Level 9. Okay, so... Let's look at his stats for a minute. Yeah, he's a little speed boy. His attack could use a little bit, you know, more. But I don't know if he's physical attack or special attack. Four. And I believe we only have one left. Oh, well, we should heal up first. Before we go do anything else. Okay, just one second. I guess that button don't work. We're gonna have to figure that out later. And we're gonna... I'm gonna have to fix my keybinds. Okay. I thought there would be something there because the buzz, buzz buzz was looking at him, but I guess not. I think this one's the last one. Beagle, beagle. Cinder, let's go. That hurts. That does nine damage. You can only take one more of those. Now you can only take one of those. Probably not by much, though. Oh, but oh, look at you, Toruga, getting the critical hit when you exactly need it. So proud of you, little buddy. 
I do enjoy the... Okay, so there says... It says that there are a lot of milestones, but I never actually... Let me double check and make sure that there are no extra ones. Hello. <clears throat> I need a better chair. Because mine just... It keeps dipping for some reason. I can't tell why. But I mean, I'll take it. We got burned. Ooh, let's go, Toruga. I'm sure burned also does extra damage as well. It does. Okay, let's go. Okay, he got a critical hit, and Toruga. Okay. Uh, let's go to Patterbit and use his propeller punch because I really do enjoy the way that the propeller punch looks. <laughs> okay. Turuga raised some of his potential. I think we'll just do that. Oh, actually. I think that's fine. We'll make him a little bit faster and so it can hit a little bit harder. I don't know if he's supposed to be special or physical yet. So I don't want to... I don't want to do too much. And then find out I messed it up. But probably if there's like a type... If, if there's this way of dealing with things, there's probably... Hello. Uh, yes, I beat them all. Oh, well. Okay, so. It was worth it. Uh, so let's heal up real quick, and then we'll check out the milestones. Because I never actually did get an opportunity to look at them. So you get experience, but what does the experience, like, entail? Okay, so it looks like that's all. Oh, there are, you get little things for each milestone. That's cool, it's kind of like a battle pass, except not. We'll, we'll claim the rest later. But yeah, Ferret Supremacy. I really do believe in Ferret Supremacy. Best, best animal around. Um, they're really cute, they're really tiny. They get into all the trouble. It's really cute, I love it so much. Um, I would definitely recommend to anybody who's looking for a little cute cuddly that's a, de that's a decent amount of responsibility because they are a lot of responsibility, as are most, if not all, pets. Like, but the responsibility for a fish is completely different from that of a mammal or a reptile or anything like that. The same, same level of responsibility, just different uh, tasks, I believe is the proper term. Like, different tasks you have to do. Oh. Oh, we battle him. Okay. What slam? Although we'd go for another battle, like these, I, pardon me, I'm genuinely surprised that we haven't had a lot of battles since the very beginning, um, at least with, you know, actual people. There we go, Taruga level 11. Let's go, Taruga. Yes, you do need to train a little bit more Chuck, but that's okay. Buzzy is doing well. Buzzy helped me kick butt. Okay, so I sh I was told to come back here. Access granted. Oh, 
I guess I just go right now, right? So I wasted my time going this way. Go, I wasted my time going this way. I guess that's not gonna help. What if I talk to you? Okay, nothing there. I guess I can't open that. These are different areas, I guess, to simulate different environments. But they're all pa the pattern bit. Okay. I guess we're just gonna keep going to the right then, because I pretty sure I was told to come back but clearly nobody wants me here so let's just go back to where we came and hopefully we can maybe find one of those Coromon that we've been looking for so bad mainly because um you know Armando my boy Arr Mando. He's out here doing his best. Okay, so this is about as far as I've gotten to in the demo, so everything else is going to be like really, really new for me. I remember vaguely some of this stuff, but not all of it. Like, there was a lot of information that I just feel has changed. I'm genuinely not sure, like, how much of it has changed, but. It feels like it changed, you know? Hmm. Over here on the other side. I'm sorry, parents still teach me how to chop down trees. Messed up, fell the wrong way. Blah! Wow, thank you so much for that. Now the road's clear again. I better get back to parents for some more free cutting practice. See ya. Yeah, punk. Let's go. Woodlow Forest? Okay. Let's see if there are any new Coromon that we haven't seen before. What is that? Is a buzzlet? Okay, um, it's probably a normal type, I would imagine. And I imagine it would probably do... I feel like it, it's the middle ground between... I'm gonna put him in storage because I feel like Buzzlet's the middle ground between Swarmy and Buzz whatever's. Beazle? Beazle. A Slither Pin. This is new. I saw you earlier. Okay, so let's try and catch you. Hopefully, Toruga doesn't absolutely decimate your body. Oh, Poison Stick. That actually could be really useful, so let's try and catch our you. Considering that almost everything here has been normal type. Except Minnow, of course. Minnow was special. Yes, we're gonna look at your summary. I'm probably gonna be a normal normal type, right? Yeah, I imagine. We have poisons and drain. Deals damage and drains HP for half the damage done. That actually seems pretty busted. Physical skills hit the right spot, increasing critical damage. Oh, okay. Um, no. We are going to replace a squad member with something about the Swarmy. Bye. Okay. So, 
we'll do we did that. Now let's see if I can Stinky Scent. Either way, I'm gonna have to battle people. Well, I mean, I would imagine that it's a forest, and forests do have bugs. That's like a thing. I, last time I checked, it's a thing. I can't have Taruga absolutely decimating everything and everyone in his sight, but I mean, look at him. He's just cindering everybody. Look at how much damage that did. It was beautiful. I mean, like, look at him. Look at how cute he is. Who would deny him the ability to, to fight? My boy Chiruga is looking, looking to, looking for the fade, looking to squat up. He said, I will fight you and I will not like you. Mm, delicious. My boy Taruga, he said, no worries. I got you, homie. Nobody can handle all this. Okay, you're getting a little too strong there, buddy. <gasps> Ignite. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm still planning on probably having only four... I think, genuinely not sure. Because there's a, a whole bunch of, in this area that we just haven't really, I don't even know what's going on. Like, there's an exit here? Maybe? That's a new fruit, bear fruit and gel fruit. That looks cool. Um, Phone message from mother. We can check that out in a minute. Uh, right now, we're just checking to see. And push. Push. That must be some item. from there we go down here like this just kidding then we go up here like this and then we go down here like this two silver spinners was it worth it not really but i did it anyway my butt out from armando that's good to know thank you i appreciate that Okay, so it looks like that's going to be, actually, um, looks like that's going to be it for me today. So I will talk to you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you all, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.